Hey everyone, this is CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm getting the XKCD comic strip daily, at least as daily as it's produced, which is every couple of days. Uh, I think they do it three times a week. I'm getting that sent automatically to my Supernote A5X, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. So yeah, check it out. All right, so I don't know if you're familiar with XKCD, but it's a pretty interesting comic strip that comes out, I think it's three times a week. Their description is a webcomic of romance, sarcasm, math, and language. And it's kind of interesting, sometimes funny, almost always topical. And so what I decided I wanted to do is get that onto the Supernote A5X automatically leveraging Dropbox. So the way I did that is using IFTTT, if this then that. And you can see here I have an XKCD to Dropbox applet and I will show you how I set that up and basically I have it going into my Dropbox Supernote document XKCD folder. If I go to my Dropbox I have Dropbox Supernote document XKCD and it's been dumping in the images uh, of that day. So Dropbox is how I am synchronized on this device and so thusly when I hit sync, it's gonna synchronize with my Dropbox folder uh, right here, um, which you can see down below me here. Um, and it's gonna pull in all of the most recent additions, which actually today, the solar system compression artifacts.ping is the one that made it today. It's also synchronizing all of my other notes. If I go back through here, um, all of my documents and my notes, and my exports and my my style folder all of that stuff is also synchronized uh, to the supernote but really for the purposes of this we are looking at uh supernote document and then i created a folder called xkcd that all of these things are going to go into now uh, it's 94% done. I guess we'll give it a second to finish. Boom. Synchronize complete. Confirm. I go into document. I go into XKCD. And now you can see I have the most recent comic strip. The downside right now, and this is a temporary problem is that it's really small. Um, they haven't given us the ability to view the images uh, scaled to the size of the Supernote yet. I know that that is something that they're working on. Um, and so, and I don't have a way to zoom right now on the Supernote. That's coming. I will be surprised if it's not in the February release. I'm pretty sure it will be March at the latest. Um, and so you can see here, I get a chance to read these. Most of them to me are readable, uh, just like this. If I just wanted to check it out or whatever, um, I can, uh, it's just unfortunate right now. I can't blow it up to make it any larger. Most of them are fairly decent sized. Um, what I'm hoping though, is in the next, um, update or two, it will automatically just expand to the full size of the display. But I just wanted to show you, I thought that was kind of cool, a way to get uh, automatically new content over here. So I'm in a meeting, I'm bored. I just want to see what the newest comic strip is. I can click on that and check it out. Um, and uh, the way I have it set is it's putting them by file name. In this case, I could change the sort to um, To time and then the most recent one will be either on the top or the bottom depending on how I have it set up so solar system compression artifacts that is that that happens to also be right here um, so yeah it works um, if you need to blow it up right now not gonna happen it's gonna happen really soon though so I'm sort of previewing this to show you what's possible um, and I do read it this way. I mean, it's small. Look. 
I'll make it. There, I'll make it bigger for you so you can read it. Milestone Voyager has passed through the streaming video compression artifacts that mark the edge of the solar system. Yeah, as we're dealing probably right now with streaming video artifacts. So let me show you how I did this uh, again. This is on um, the IFTTT. So IFTTT.com, you can create an account. And uh, what I have it set up is the feed URL is xkcd.com forward slash atom.xml. Uh, let me let me go through this with you real quick. So what I'm going to do is do a duplicate tab. And I'm going to go back on this side uh, and I will hit. So once you get logged in, create an account, you get three free uh, applets. After that, you have to pay for their whatever pro version, whatever it is. So but three of them for free. I'm only using one right now. So create. And then what you get to choose with uh, if this and that is if this if this thing happens, then do that. So if this ad and um, what I have here, you can search for services, but I'm going to search for um, uh, RSS. So if an RSS feed has a new feed item, which is what I got, the feed URL I have is this xkcd.com forward slash atom dot xml that creates that trigger. So if there's a new feed item at that location, then that and you click on that and then I say Dropbox. Oops. Add file from the URL. And then here's where we get into uh, creating our own um, structure here. So entry image URL, leave that alone. I deleted file name because the title doesn't really work that well. If you delete the title, then it will actually put it in the file name. As you can see here with underscores and it get, gets rid of special characters and all that stuff works a lot better if you just remove file name and leave it blank and then you save it to your Dropbox. In this case, super note forward slash document forward slash XKCD. Uh, and you can see here, uh, that's what I have, that folder. So that's where I dumped it. So what you would do is go into your super note, create a folder structure that you want. Um, and again, I, um, I am syncing with Dropbox. So my document, export, inbox, my file note, and screenshot are all synchronized with my Dropbox. So I just created a subfolder and I called it um, what did I call it? XKCD underneath the documents and then hit save and then it will run. Um, yeah, that's it. It's really easy and really fun. So you can do this with other feeds as well. I thought this um, XKCD would be a fun one. Uh, but if there's anything else you want to monitor for new content, have that sent directly to your Supernote. That's a way to do it. Dropbox sort of has that ability when uh, extended with if this, then that. So um, if you have news articles that you want to read um, and you can basically monitor feeds or websites for new content and then automatically save that. What I like about uh, this comic strip is it saves it as ping files and JPEGs, I think. Uh, let me see. Maybe they're all pings. Ping, 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 ping. They're all pings which the Supernote can read no problem. Again, soon we'll be able to expand those to a more usable size, but just wanted to share that with you. Uh, hope that helps if you're looking for something creative to do or play with. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.